hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is monica Agbo and i upload your instagram lifestyle content on this channel in today's video i'm going to teach you all how to make this underboss corset belt so let's dive into this tutorial together so guys to make your underboss corset you need your ruler your curl ruler you need your bony you need your tape measure your bias your fabric and your pattern paper so to start with this underboss we'll be starting off with the pattern drafting so before we proceed, I'll just use this little paper to illustrate the measurement that we would need. So your underboss corset will definitely have a length. So the length of my own underboss corset, I want it to be 8 inches. That is for the front. I want it to be 8 inches. So I'm going to add extra 1 inches allowance. And that will give me 9. So for my back measurement, I want the length of my back, my back underboss. I want it to be six inches. To so add extra one inch allowance, so that will give me seven. So this is the measurement we are working with. For the front pattern, the length of my underboss will be nine, and for my back pattern, the length of my back is going to be seven inches. You would also need your waist measurement. The waist I'm working with is thirty inches. 30 inches so i'm going to divide these 30 inches divided by 2 which will give me 15. so because my corset is going to have five panels i'm going to add extra five inch allowance so that's one inch for each panel so that will give me 20 inches so the measurement i'll be working with for this underboss corset will be 20 inches then the length of my front, my front pattern and the length of my back pattern. So let's proceed to the pattern drafting. Note that these are the measurements we are working with. So for the waist, um, my waist is 30 divided by 2. That's 15 plus the 5 inches allowance and then that's 20 in total. The next thing I'll do is just to rule out the vertical line like this. You can just find the midpoint of your paper to make it easier for you. So all you need to do is just to fold it like this. Make sure you press it. So by the time you flip it over, you'll be able to get a perfect line. So from this point, I'm just going to mark out my 20 inches. So that's good. I'm, I'm exactly on track. This is my 20 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to find the midpoint of this line. So you know this is 20 inches I marked here. So... The midpoint of this 20 inches is 10 inches. So I'm going to add extra 1 inches allowance because my underboss corset has 5 panels. So I'm just going to rule out a straight line like this. So just note that this is the front pattern and this is the back pattern. From this point again, I'm going to measure it out like this. And what I have here is 9 inches. So I'm going to find the midpoint, which is 4.5. So I'm just going to mark out 4.5 inches here. Then I'll rule out a straight line again. According to my measurement, the length of my front pattern is 9 inches. So I'm going to start with that. 9 inches divided by 2 is 4.5. So I'm just going to mark out 4.5 here. And mark out 4.5 here. For the back, my length is 7 inches, so I'm going to work with this 7 inches. So 7 divided by 2 is 3.5, so I'm just going to mark out 7 in 3.5 here and 3.5 here. I'll do the same thing for the other side till this point. Mark out 3.5, 3.5. Please note that this is just the measurement I'm working with. You can work with any measurement that works for you. So on this middle line here, I'm just going to come out by half inch like this. So from this point to this point here, I'm just going to mark out a line like this. It's going to be like this. Just Good. So you should have something like this. On this upper part here, I'm going to come out by one inch like this. So I'm just going to connect the line 
this way while on this line i'm going to come up by one inch here so on this one inch here i'm going to come up by two inches it's not then you rule out you connect the lines together like this so from this point to this point you are just going to draw like a u shape so i would prefer to use my my curve ruler to get a perfect shape so so this was what i was able to get with my ruler so please just disregard this line here just disregard this one this is the one we are working with so the same way i came up by one inches here i'm just going to do the same thing on this line and on this line so you just connect the lines together so it's can match this way the same thing here so you just mark out the half inch that is here so it can rhyme together i'm going to connect the lines like this so remember i said that the the under bus corset is going to have five panels so this is already two for the back so the front is going to have three panels it's not compulsory it has five panels it depends on whatever you want to do some people you can it can be so tiny i'm just making use of three so i'm just going to restart with mine so from this point to this point i'll just slant it like this so from this point to this point i'll do the same thing from this point i'll just slant it again I feel it's not well slanted. Let me correct it. So like this. Number one, two, three, four, and five. On this waistline, this middle line, I'm just going to come out by half inch and half inch here so that my waist can be snatched. So I'm just going to mark out a normal facial dart. I'm just going to start cutting my pattern out. So please watch carefully. I realize that this number three after taking the dot it is looking very very small so i want to adjust this line here to something like this so i'm just going to mark out this side so this is the line i'm following <laughs> So this is the five panels of the underboss corset. This is what it should look like. So I'll be cutting out four pieces of each panel on my fabric. I'll be making use of my Ankara fabric for the lining too. This is what it looks like after I've already cut it out of my fabric. I also went ahead to fix an interfacing on the main fabric. You can decide to also iron your interfacing on your lining too. I only decided to fix it on my main fabric. So I'm just going, I'm just going to rearrange it. After arranging it, this is what it looks like, as you can see. So I'm just going to take each piece like this, flip it over, use my and just stitch half inch. So that is how I'm going to do it. Just take half inch and stitch all the sides. So after that, you repeat the same thing on your lining. So after stitching all the sides with half inch, this is what it looks like. And I also went ahead to open the seams and iron it out. So I also did the same thing for the lining. I went ahead to stitch all the sides by half inch. So the next thing we want to do is to take the main piece like this and fix our boning inside. Making use of this swivel boning. To fix your boning on your corset, you have to minus one inch or 1.5 inch so for example let's start with this 
what you have here is nine inches so i'm just going to subtract 1.5 from my nine inches that will give, and that will give me seven inches so the measurement of my bowling is going to be seven inches for this particular one so after cutting it out this is what it looks like so i'm just going to keep it in the middle like this then i'm just going to stitch it so i'm just going to fix the boning on this middle panel like this and i will just stitch it as you can see so you're just going to like sew the second one too and make sure your stitch is very very straight and neat so after stitching it this is what it looks like so you are going to apply the same method on all these panels you just whatever you measure whatever you have subtract one inch or 1.5 cut out your boning and stitch the boning in the middle that's what you do for each panel so guys this is what it looks like after ready fix the boning go to mention when you cut out your boning you can use a lighter matches to bone the edges of the boning or you can put paper tape so it does not poke you so before we attach the main piece with the lining i went ahead to cut out a strap a long strap like this the width is two inches and you can use any length of your choice so the next thing i'm going to do is just to fold it like this and like this flip it over again and then i'll just stitch it around so it's going to be like this and i'm going to stitch it around so this is the rope i've already stitched it so the next thing to do is to place the lining on the fabric and make sure that the lines align this is already aligned so i'm just going to take half an inch and stitch it and stitch all the open edge like this so while i'm stitching it i'm going to make use of my aiming gum so i'll just put my aiming gum like this then i will just stitch it on it so by the time we iron it it's going to be firm and very neat after sewing it this is what it looks like with the aiming gum as you can see so by the time i flip it over and iron it it's going to be firm that's the advantage of using aiming gum so the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure the down part so is well aligned and i'll repeat the same process take half an inch and stitch it round with my aiming gum so after stitching the down part this is what it looks like with the aiming gum so i'm just going to flip it over to the right side so after flipping it over to the right side i went ahead to iron it this is the lining area this is how the front part looks like and so it's firm so next thing we want to do is to fix our loops at this side so all you need to do is to get your rope and measure 2.5 inches for the length then you cut it so i'm just going to make sure that i cut i cut the same thing i'll use this first one to measure the second one just cut the same thing after cutting it out this is what it looks like i have about eight pieces or nine or so so i'm going to use this part to explain what we're going to do so we apply it to the other side so this is what it looks like we're going to fold it like this So after folding it, I'm going to take one of this, this way. Just fold it into two. So I've already pinned the first one. You make sure it's at the edge. I'm going to measure 1.5 inches from this loop area. So the distance between each loop will be 1.5 inches. You mark it. So that means I have one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to attach it. I'll attach the remaining loops. After fixing the loop, I'll just take, I'll just stitch it. Make sure you stitch it well. So I'll do the same thing for the second side. Attach the loop and stitch it. This is what it looks like after I've already fixed the loops. I'll be making use of this ribbon. You can use your anchor to make your rope if you want, but making use of this ribbon to tie the loop. And that will be all about the corset. 
so this is what the underboss corset belt looks like thank you for watching and see you in my next upload bye guys